Now today is the day that we are going to build a truck cab camper in the back of this pickup in a single day's time. Some of you might know that I built a truck cab camper before. And I learned a lot from that and I also learned a lot of things that I would have changed. And today that's what we're going to be doing with this build. I got a brand new 2000, well, brand new to me. So this is a 2013 Ford F-150. This truck is gonna be set up for everyday use, but it's also gonna be able to be rigged out so I can just go camping. Let's jump right into it and I'll show you guys what we have working with on the inside. We have a standard six foot, seven inch bed. And on top of that, I have a low profile Sentry truck cap. Now, unlike my last build, I wanted this to be more of a stealth setup. And I really wanna get a functional truck cap camper in a day's time. And that's where the sponsor of today's video really stepped in. I reached out to Real Truck about putting this brand new build together because they specialize in making builds like this happen every day. And they suggested that I utilize the deck storage system because it allows easy access to two huge storage drawers and is super easy to install. So big thank you to Real Truck for making this build possible. If you're planning a new build yourself, whether it's a few modifications or a full overhaul, be sure to click the link in the description to check out realtruck.com and the thousands of products that they offer. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna install the deck system, and then we're gonna build on top of it to add a little bit more functionality to this build. The major reason that I decide to go with the deck system is because of its simplicity. These are all the tools that I use throughout this entire process. And a lot of these actually aren't even necessary at all. I think the entire process probably took me about two to three hours. And it was as simple as laying everything out, getting understanding of where it belonged, and then following instructions and tightening everything down. got a couple things to do but the majority of the work is done and this is just gonna be loaded into the back of the pickup before we do that one thing that I really wanted to change about this build from my last one was the fact that once you have this in the back of a pickup it is an absolute pain to have to get into the bed crawl back to get anything you've positioned in the far end and that's not something I wanted to do this time so we have fixed that in a couple ways one way is the drawers that are going to be fitting under this system. So these are going to, of course, go under it once I put this in the truck. And we can just slide these out, I think, to about here. So that's going to allow me to access a lot of gear underneath of this deck system. The next issue that was going to occur was anything that I wanted to store on top of this. So that's what these rails are going to accomplish. And what we're gonna do is mount these rails to the deck system. It's gonna be a slide to allow me to access anything I put in the back of the pickup. Generally, that's the idea. We're gonna have a big platform that's gonna lay on top of this. I just picked up some cheap OSB, cut that to size about 70 inches by two feet. I lined it with a truck bed liner to give it a little extra durability, some waterproofing. You know, these are super cheap, so even if it gets water damage or breaks, I'll just build a new one. And I, in fact, <laughs> bought a whole sheet so I can just replace it later. What we're gonna do now is we are gonna mount these rails to the deck system. All right, so we got that all tightened up. I'm just gonna put one in for now, so it's gonna allow me to move it around just a little bit to make sure I get these perfectly lined up before I really commit to it, because it would really suck if these were off. It's just about where I want it. Now, these do have bars underneath, so you wanna make sure that when you drill, you don't hit them. And I flipped this whole thing over just to check and make sure that where I planned on drilling wasn't gonna hit it other way. So let's go ahead, get those rest of those in, and I'll show you exactly how this is gonna function. Okay, so we got that accomplished. These are tied down, they're probably over-secured, but I'd rather secure it well this time. 
then have to come back. Um, so now I'm just gonna flip these up to access the ones in the middle. And then you can see how these bolts are sticking out the bottom. Well, I'm actually gonna come in and cut these flat. I didn't wanna have to run to the store to buy some different bolts to put in here, so I figured I'd just use what I had and use a Dremel just to saw them off closer. Now, we're gonna get this OSB board on there. I'm using a half inch. I think that should be more than enough. Uh, and I basically just lined it with truck bed liner, just a single can, not a super thick coating, but it's also a really cheap piece of wood. This is how I want it to sit. Wow, that's actually a pretty good color match. And I want it to come all the way to the back because the main purpose of this is to be able to access gear back here. I know there's gonna be a lot of comments that are saying that maybe this wasn't necessary, but after my last truck cap camper build, I can tell you right now that having to go over a tailgate and then crawl all the way back to get whatever I had in the back, it was one thing that I really didn't like about my build. I can just pull this right out and then I'll have access to whatever I need. Just for example here, this is my portable refrigerator that I carry around. As you can see, this is a bit springy. And if I were to put this on front, maybe it would have a problem, but I can store light stuff up front, have that on the back, have access to small little things right here. And then whenever I need to get to my cooler, pull this right out, get access to it. So I would highly recommend doing something like this. Even if it doesn't have these rails, even if it's just a slider, it's a lot easier just to have drawers that can bring it to you rather than go to it, crawling into a tiny little cab. So I'd highly recommend it, at least considering that option. We're gonna take this whole system and then install it into the back of my truck. And that is essentially, ooh, she's bright. As you can see, it's still snowing. It's the same day, and that only took me a couple hours to complete. We'll, have, we'll rotate around. Have you. Yeah, it shouldn't take me long to wrap that up. That was a really unfortunate way to end that day. After completing most of that build, I ended up smashing that back window. It shattered into bits. There wasn't even a piece that was bigger than a marble. Despite that unfortunate event, I continued wrapping up the last few things I had to do because I knew that this was just a minor setback and we were gonna be able to find a new cap for this in no time. So in case you're wondering, it's actually cheaper to buy a brand new cap than it is to replace the glass. Unbelievable, but, so that was a pretty awful situation, but we made the best of it. We have the completed build right here. First of all, we got these two giant drawers right here. As you can see, I picked this cap up in Vermont, so it's got my ski equipment in it. I figured, hey, if I'm going down there to pick up a cap, I might as well go skiing too. So you might be wondering about this piece. This slide out is actually really useful because what I didn't realize is that I already had a supporting drawer under it. You can put quite a bit of weight on there unless you're gonna break this wood itself. I mean, this drawer underneath can hold up to 300 pounds and it doesn't have a whole lot of flex to it. So this is gonna be a nice working surface. Just put some gear. I think it's gonna be a lot more useful than my last pickup. This one I think is a good setup for a daily driver and also a truck cab camper. So if you guys wanna see the final version Version and this truck cap camper in action make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next one where i think we're going to be going out and camping in this new truck cap camper i will see you guys then